What's going on, y'all? This is your boy, Scotty by Nature TV, and we're here for a brand new episode of Yes for the Mess, where we talk about celebrity gossip, hot topics, and all things reality TV based. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful Thursday, and I intend on doing the exact same. Now, before we get into today's mess, let's talk about what we got coming up on the platform. Now, tomorrow is Friday, which means that Boys Night Out returns for the sixth episode, honey, and Scotty by Nature TV nor Jamar will be there, but we will be, it still will be airing on my platform, but Josiah will be the one running the show. So it will be Josiah, T, and Maddie, plus one or two guests. So make sure you guys tune in tomorrow for the show. Then on Saturday, there won't be a live review of Love and Marriage Huntsville, but there will be a review of it for the weekend. Definitely will be a review. It just won't be on Saturday, and it won't be live. On Sunday, there won't be a live review of Real Housewives of Potomac either, um, because I'll be at Jamie's baby shower. But however... There should be a review of the show by Monday. And also on Monday, the Whether You Like It or Not panel will be on giving you the Real Tease platform, okay? And um, I won't be there, but Schoolboy will be there and possibly Reggie or Ill Teddy will be sitting in my spot because I'm not going to be there. So make sure you guys tune in to that, all right? So with that being said, that's pretty much all that we got for the church announcements. So let's go ahead and get into the mess. Now, Royce Reed recently did an interview with Carlos King, all right? And she talked about what she went through while she was filming Basketball Wives. And she was talking about her experience with working with Shawnee and if she would ever return to the show so let's go ahead and get into what miss royce reed had to say and then we'll be back for more commentary let's get into it working with shawnee again this woman approached you to do the show <clears throat> you help pitch it develop it and to get it sold and then all of a sudden the friendship you thought you had with her went this way mm -hmm. um people have said that it was challenging working with Shawnee because how can we work with somebody who is the executive producer of the show, gets to watch the footage, and we have to be in scenes with her? Mm -hmm. Was that very hard to do? It was, and I think it was probably harder for those who came after me because she was on the show a lot more. Um, you know, when she was with us, she did season one partially, mm -hmm. um, and then you know, she would step in every blue moon, but like with them, she was on the show a lot. So when I see situations like, um, I think it was Brandy, mm -hmm. you know, it's like, I, I felt that when she had, when she, you know, the whole thank you for your services and all that stuff. Well, she didn't have the power to fire anybody. So that was, that, that's, you know, people say, oh, this is Shawnee's show. This is her show. No, it's not. It's not, but um, I think just watching that and feeling Brandy's like energy just through the screen, it's like, girl, I know how you feel, you know? Like I've been there and nowhere near the level that she had to deal with it. So I think it's, it's unfair for sure, especially when she's telling certain people what someone else is saying. And it appears that her allegiance was with Evelyn. Absolutely. Uh, um, a lot of people have said it. Tammy has said it on mm -hmm. my, my podcast, too, that they all were shocked to come to the realization that I thought we were friends mm -hmm. until it became a choice mm -hmm. between me, what I'm doing, and Evelyn. And that that side was it was Evelyn and Shawnee all Absolutely. day long. Everybody who's come on my podcast has said that. So that has been your experience, too. Absolutely. I mean, is there a scene where she's ever telling her that she's wrong? I mean, I, I didn't watch like all these past seasons. I watched up until um, I think I watched the first season of L.A. And then I watched the episode with the table with um, Malaysia. With Malaysia, I watched that one. Like I watched pieces cause you know, people would post snippets. Mm -hmm. And then the thing with, <laughs> one with Tammy um, and um, what was her name, Laura? Laura. Yeah. Um, and then I, I saw the episode with um, OG, mm -hmm. but um, I, from what I remember, 
I don't ever seeing a scene where she's ever told her that she was wrong. When was the last time you spoke in the Shawnee? Was she on my last reunion? I think so. So then that would be it. That would be it. Mm -hmm. You two do not have a relationship. Mm -mm. Would you want to have one? Um, I would be willing to have a conversation with her. Um, just simply because, you know, it's been time. Um, I guess I don't think it would necessarily like give me or make me feel any better because you still did it. You know what I mean? I, I don't know. I don't know like what the purpose would be. Closure you know? maybe? Because this is the thing. I think, I, 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 and you tell me if I'm wrong, mm -hmm. I get the sense that there's a lot of disappointment that you have yeah. in her. Because but it was true. Yeah, you know yeah. I mean? and, and just to be able to express like, you brought me on this show as a willing participant, no, you know, nonetheless. But how can you bring me on this show? I'm confiding in you because I think you're big sister. Mm -hmm. And then every chance you guys get, I'm mm -hmm. the butt of the jokes. I am at the crossfires with these women who are clearly closer to you. Mm -hmm. I'm having conversations on camera. It hasn't even aired yet. And they know what I'm saying. And I think a, a, there's a conversation of expressing how disappointed you are and you're just not feeling safe. Because I think the biggest thing when I hear people talk about that show back in the day, I'm not gonna say what, what's going on now, is nobody felt safe being on camera, mm -hmm. telling their truth, <clears throat> because, <clears throat> excuse me, because they all felt that at the end of the day, Whatever I say is going to get back and y'all going to edit me to look the craziest mm -hmm. possible because this woman is, can watch the footage and can, can create a storyline based on, like you said, things that are completely untrue. Yeah. Um, I guess in that sense, I would just ask why, you know, because there were a lot of scenes that were filmed that never even made like, the extra, you know, stuff like, and these were really good scenes. And it was just kind of like when you would watch an episode and you'd be like, well, what happened to when we, wait, that's not, oh, I see what you're doing. You know, it's like changing a narrative of things. And I think like, you know, me and Shawnee, like we, I felt like we were close, you know what I mean? So even some of the conversations that we would have, you know, like you are, you know, when you're mm -hmm. filming things like a dinner can be like three hours, right. but it's turned into like maybe five minutes. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So we would have like really deep conversations and then it would turn into that. And that would be the only part that was shown. So it kind of felt like we were being um, baited. Like, mm. let me, let me act like I care. Oh, it's okay. Oh, I'm so sorry you feel this way. Or, well, is there anything I can do? All that. And then the next subject comes up that we have to discuss. And then it's like, all the shit hits the fan. And now everything we talked about an hour ago, none of that matters anymore because this is what they want. So that's, I would just, I guess a why, but mm. I don't know if I would believe it. Mm. Well, she's with the pastor now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so no, I'm saying it could be a rebirth. Listen, I'm not religious. I'm spiritual. Okay. So um, that does nothing for me. Okay. I don't want to say it in a mean way. It just does. I know. I get it. No, I get it. I don't. You know, I don't even go to like church anymore because I just feel like it's. A, it's more of a business mm. now than it is about God. Mm. So, yeah. Would you ever return to Basketball Wives? <sighs> if me and the raindrops do a petition to get you back on the show. 
would you have something to do with it? The ah! <laughs> <laughs> um, reason I'm saying that is Go because ahead. when I watch like your shows, I feel like you got to get to give, give to get. So you get your drama, but it's real. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like these are real stories. This is genuinely like what is happening. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? I feel like with basketball wives, it's just always like this film some bullshit, mm. you know? I mean, people ask me about the scene where I told them where um, Gloria and Susie, I think it was, having dinner. Why did you do that? Y'all really think that was my idea? I, like, n I didn't want to do it. <laughs> yeah. But it only made sense for it to be me because clearly neither one of them were talking to anybody else. So it was like, boys, well, you have to, you have to. So I did it, you know, again, give to get, get to give, but yeah. yeah. No, and the thing is that it's <laughs> funny. I, people know this about me. I'm a huge fan of that brand. I, I do love the show. I have my critiques about the show. Um, I say it on this podcast, how I feel like personal story just isn't on the agenda for mm -hmm. that particular show. Um, and it's such a disservice to it because you ladies have always been dynamic. And I always felt like if people know the other side of mm -hmm. you guys, um, and it's what you said too, like these, I don't know any show, well, there's other shows now, but back then it was like every episode was like, not, a, not, not an argument. It was like, right, like, right. It was you know like, what I mean? It was yeah. always like, it's one thing to have an argument, shape as whatever. I will say this. I have never seen an episode of that show where we were all laughing as a group. Right. Like everybody is enjoying each other and we're laughing. Right. And we're kicking or we're all crying because one sister is going through this and, and we all as black women can relate to it. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to have that balance. And that's the one thing I wish the show would showcase that is just it's just not yep so unless i'm producing basketball wives that's the only way you'll come back so yeah <laughs> yeah that would yeah okay well we'll we'll figure out something or something <laughs> else for you hey. okay working with shawnee again this and to be honest i agree with everything that roy said I believe everything that she said. She's always said it has never been like anything that she changed up or anything like that. Her stories have always been the same. It's just that now we know a little bit more information about what was going on behind the scenes of the show. And it seems like most people that are on the outs with Shawnee all have the same story. Um, we see that, that Tammy had the same story. We see that Royce had a similar story. We see OG has that same story. It's always the same story. When it comes down to some of the girls and Shawnee, Brandy had that story, Malaysia, so many girls. And the thing of it is, Brand, uh, Evelyn does, um, is allowed to run amok in the palace and do whatever the hell she wants because her master, um, you know, Master Splinter is the one that's over everything. She runs the show. She cashes the check. She do this. She does that. So that is really the end. That's really the situation when it comes down to this. So I agree with everything that Royce is saying, and I definitely believe her. And she's always said that. But people think that Royce is a hater. People think that Royce is jealous of Evelyn. I never felt like she was. I always felt like Evelyn had a hard on for Royce. They all hated on Royce from the very beginning. And when they saw that Royce was not going to be down for their bullshit, they'll do things like, I'm not going to film with her, or we're going to cut her scenes down. Like, that's what they did from that point on. Like, stop filming with her and i think that at some point these reality shows do need to stop allowing these cast members to say who they will and won't film with in my opinion because when the cast members are no longer filming with one another it kind of makes the show not you know what i'm saying it makes the show not enjoyable if you ask me you know what i'm saying it doesn't it doesn't make it enjoyable i don't like that you feel what I'm saying? Like I just don't. I think it, I think it's whack when they do it like that. You feel what I'm saying? So that's what made this show whack when everybody wasn't filming together no more, and it's all about you know Shawnee and what the fuck she wanted, and 
all that other stuff. And that's why the show not good now. They ran away all the people that was great and stuff like this. So to me, it is what it is. So that's really all I got to say about that. So before we get up out of here, let's talk about what we are promoting. Now, our very own Tramiel has a brand new song out called Long Days. It's available everywhere. And Bando has a new record out called Bando's Dream. It's now available on Spotify, Apple Music, and YouTube. With that being said, y'all, this be your boy, Scotty by Nature. Be sure to like, rate, comment, subscribe, share this video, and also click on the notification bell so you can be notified whenever a video drops. And if you want to follow me on any form of social media, my Twitter, my Instagram, and my TikTok will be down below. With that being said, you guys, your boys, about here. And until my next video, I will holler at you guys a little bit later. Bye.